Right then, it's time to spark your interest in batteries. Spark, get it? Yeah, well. A car battery is simply an energy storage device. Your car uses the energy stored in a battery to operate the starter motor, ignition system, fuel injection system and other electrical devices for the engine during engine cranking and starting. It supplies all the electrical power for a car whenever the engine is not running and it helps the charging system provide electricity when current demands are above the limit of the charging system. The lead acid battery is made up of plates, lead, lead oxide and an electrolyte which is a solution made up of 35% sulfuric acid and 65% water. When the electrolyte interacts with the lead plates, a chemical reaction occurs and produces electrons that create the voltage in a battery. The main things you need to consider when you choose a battery are size, power and warranty. It's got to fit properly in your vehicle, deliver the right power and, well, a warranty can be worth it. The manufacturer's specs for your vehicle are a good place to start. Basically, there are two types of automotive batteries, the starting battery and the deep cycle battery. The starting battery is designed to deliver quick bursts of energy for starting engines and has a greater number of plates. Starting batteries shouldn't be used for deep cycle applications as their lifespan will be drastically reduced. The deep cycle battery has less instant energy and more long-term energy. The plates are thicker and can survive a number of discharge cycles. This type of battery is ideal for things like golf carts and operating 12 volt fridges and lighting. There are various types of lead acid battery, the wet cell, the absorbed glass mat or AGM and the gel cell. The wet cell comes in two styles, serviceable and maintenance free. Serviceable means the water levels need to be checked and filled periodically where the maintenance free battery is generally sealed and requires little or no maintenance. When you do top up a battery, you need to use distilled water. The impurities in tap water can shorten the battery's life. Oh, and make sure you don't overfill. Add just enough water to cover the plates. Absorbed glass mat and gel cells are specialty type batteries. They typically cost more than a wet cell battery. They do store well and don't tend to sulphate. That's a condition that hardens the battery plates and reduces effectiveness. So they can be a good investment. Now, there are a few terms that come up when you're dealing with batteries, but they're actually pretty simple to understand. CCA refers to cold cranking amps. This defines a battery's ability to start an engine in cold temperatures. It measures the number of amps a battery delivers at 18 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds without dropping below 1.2 volts per cell. The higher the CCA rating, the greater the starting power of the battery. CA is a rating used to describe the discharge load in amperes which a new fully charged battery at zero degrees Celsius can continuously deliver for 30 seconds and maintain a terminal voltage equal or greater than 1.2 volts. CAs are sometimes referred to as marine cranking amps or MCAs. RC is reserve capacity. It refers to the time in minutes a new fully charged battery will supply a constant load of 25 amps without the battery falling below 10.5 volts. The higher the RC, the longer your vehicle can operate if the alternator or a fan belt fails. AH refers to amp hours. This rating is usually found on deep cycle batteries. If a battery is rated at 100 amp hours, it should deliver 5 amps of power for 20 hours or 20 amps of power for 5 hours. Another important part of the battery is the battery terminal or post. On each battery, there are at least two posts. One will be a negative post and the other positive. The positive terminal will be marked with a plus symbol and or a red lead or cover. The positive post is sometimes larger than the negative post as well. The negative terminal will be marked with a minus symbol and or have a black lead. It's important to make sure that the correct cables are connected to the correct posts of a battery. If you get that wrong, you could create a tear in the space-time continuum and cause the entire planet to explode. Well, probably not, but it sounds exciting. With all batteries, you need to check the battery posts for corrosion. Corrosion can interfere with the electrical connection and prevent your car from starting. Super cheap auto stock post cleaners like this one that are just perfect for the job. 
Well, they say knowledge is power. So now you should have all the power you need to choose the right battery and look after it. And remember, I'm here to help.